is Dr. Janvi Reza List. Mr. Javid Fahim is 28 year old and he is having varicose veins of grade 4 in his right lower limb. We can see the varicose veins here marked out and also the skin changes which have happened because of chronic venous stasis. He is quite tall, so obviously he's got longer venous pressures. So we have got an access point here. This is called an access point and we got a 6 French access point into his great cephalus vein. Uh, and this is the fiber. This is uh, a radial fiber. The tip is rounded. I'll show you later. And that is the 14-17 nanometer biolytic uh, laser machine with the intraoperative ultrasound that is GE, logic E with a high frequency vascular probe. Now we will see this uh, fiber being taken out from its holder. This easily goes into a 6 French uh, axis sheet. This is not the connector end which goes into the laser machine. This is not a very limited usage fiber unlike other machines which can be reused. This cannot be reused uh, so that it gives a very good uh, uh, burning capacity in the, in the vein. So no scope for error and as it is biolytic machine is highly standardized what we set in terms of laser power and laser energy interval what we set is what we get from inside unlike other machines so now this is got one end uh, take it camera work it but this end is given to the assistant who takes it takes that uh, protective cap in the tip and fixes, uh, fixes it in a slot and uh, incidentally the paper what we got in front of the machine is here that records the percentage I mean uh, here, here that shows the recording of the where, where we have got access to the sheath and also what is the energy levels being used to pause This is, called, this is not the laser light which is firing, this is the guiding light and you can see uh, two guiding lights, this is a double ring the laser fiber which is a very effective uh, fiber for including the cephalofemoral injection and varicose to get cephalofemoral So once we We take out the guide wire and insert the laser fiber. We can trace its course going J left hand up along with the GSV, taking a turn at hold on, pause, few minutes off. Sometimes, because of subcutaneous fat, we may not be able to see the entire course. But we can see it now. You can see the light off. Ultrasound. You can also come from the passage of the fiber. And the ultrasound guidance. You can also follow the light along with the ultrasound probe. You can see that fiber has come into the cephalofemoral area. You can see the ultrasound. You can see the fiber reaching, being pushed, and it is. Cephalofemoral junction is visible now, and we can see the fiber entering there. It jumped in with the jerk now, and we are now pushing, pulling it back now. Uh, show the junction. Are we at the junction now? Yeah. Okay, the junction there. We are going back, going back, we're going back some more. <coughs> We try to visualize the pelvic vein, which is draining at the suprafemoral junction. There it is. That is the draining of pelvic vein. Pause.
ஆரம்பிச்சு வச்சிருந்தாங்க வி கேன் சி த பேக் ஃப்ளோ ஆஃப் த லைட் அலாங் வித் ரேடியல் ஃபைபர் விச் இஸ் சிக்னல் ஃபார் அஸ் once it is we reach the cephalofemoral junction an assistant measures the cephalofemoral junction uh, from the tip go back can we come back yes from the tip to the cephalofemoral junction if you see carefully we can also see some flow so what we are now on point 7 to 7 minutes so we go a little go back a bit fabric being pulled out and then also now measure the caliber of the vein vein caliber <coughs> this is one reading the other reading is one of the detail vein caliber in the wall it's about uh, 0.6 cm actually you have to measure a little back area the widest area yeah somewhere there and go up yes now so it is leading 0.64 to 65 cm 